Well, my name is Esther French Tess Wallace. I was born in 1806 and resided in the state of Pennsylvania, which is where I married my husband in 1824. His name was David Wallace, um, and many of you probably have heard of him. He was a Walmadu lawyer. He later became the lieutenant governor of Indiana. Unfortunately, I didn't live to see that, but I was very proud of him as he was a lawyer in my day. We had three sons, and, um, and we, we moved to the state of Indiana and cup by covered wagon. It was about a two-week trip, and it was a pretty rough road at that, and it was really a trip that I'll never forget. It was one of, of great heartbreak in that I lost my youngest son, John, at that time. He contracted the scarlet fever, and as you know, they didn't have anything back in those days that would be able to, um, couldn't save him, just couldn't save him, and I, and I lost him, and it was an awful trip for us, but we ended up here in Covington, and I later had a third son, and we lived here in, in Covington and, and prospered. Um, but in, in about 1834, unfortunately, another dreaded disease came to hit our family, and that was tuberculosis, um, also known as the Great White Plague. And that, unfortunately, struggle as I might, um, it ended my life. So I passed away due to tuberculosis in 1934. So there's my real worry at the time, as you can imagine, on my deathbed was what would become of my sons and my family who would take care of my three sons. And so at the time, we had arranged to have my neighbor, uh, a, name, a lady by the name of Mrs. Sanders, she took care of the boys until about three years later, my husband, um, he married a lady by the name of Zeralda. Um, check. <laughs> Mrs. Hawkins took care of him. She was my neighbor. And Zeralda Sanders then remarried my husband. David Wallace, and she became a loving, caring mother for my three boys. Um, many, uh, all of my boys did well in life, but the one that most people are, are familiar with and know about probably is Lou Wallace, and there are lots of books in the libraries that you can read about him, and, and actually many books that he wrote. In fact, I heard recently that there was a picture show made out of one of the books that he wrote. Um, perhaps you've heard of it, Ben Hur. Um, or My Fair God was another one of his books. I'd just like you to notice that, you know, that as a shadow is cast upon my grave here from this, these big cedar trees, that the cedars here are, are a symbol, and they've always been a symbol of um, immortality. And then the cones that fall from the tree in the fall, those are a symbol, those symbolize life renewal. So um, I do lie in this ground, but my life has been renewed by the lives of many of the great, my great grandchildren that live today, and God bless them all. Sure, thank you. How'd that sound? Yeah, Real fun.